So here's five kickers I'm going to start this week. No one really talks about kickers, but I'm going to talk about it. Because some of these kickers, they could be the difference in your matchup. If they could outscore the other kicker by seven, eight points, that's a huge difference. And the first guy is Joey Sly. He might be out there in most of your leagues after earlier in the week. He was put on the COVID-19 list, but he came back negative his results. So he's going to be playing tomorrow. He's got a good matchup versus New Orleans. He's going to be kicking indoors. Sly's pretty accurate. He's 16 for 18 on field goals and PATs made this year. He had a good fantasy season last year. He's got a matchup. The Saints, they give up points. So I could see Sly hitting a 50-yarder or two indoors. So he could have a big game. The second kicker I'm going to start is Brandon McManus. If he's out there still somehow, some way in your fantasy league, he shouldn't be. Coming off a six-field goal game, McManus has a long boot. Just accuracy sometimes has been his problem. But this guy, he could hit 60 yarders any given day, especially with the altitude in Denver. McManus, they put him out there and they trust him to kick that long ball. So if he gets you, you know, two 50 yarders and two PATs, that's a 10 point day, 12 point day for uh, Brandon McManus. So if he's still on your wire, you go out there and get him because he's a good start this week versus Kansas City. You know they'll be scoring both ways, and he's going to be good for a couple field goals. The third kicker I'm going to get is Matt Prater, Detroit Lions, a former Bronco also. He's been a mainstay in fantasy football, but I've seen him out there in some leagues too, but I'm definitely starting him. He's got a good matchup versus Atlanta. It's indoors, the game. So Prater, they line him up for 50, 55 yarders every week, it seems like, and that he hits them too. So Prater, he's a difference maker for a kicker. He could get you some big points, 10 to 15, if it's a really good kicking game, but it's going to be a shootout versus Detroit and Atlanta. So Prater's going to get many chances to be in the red zone and kicking opportunities. The fourth kicker is Randy Bullock of the Cincinnati Bengals versus the Cleveland Browns this week. Bullock surprisingly top three in fantasy points for kickers he's getting a lot of opportunities and he's making the most of it so Bullock he's available out there in some leagues I'm starting him in one and I'm definitely going to start him because Bullock he's getting the opportunities he's up there in points and there's no reason anymore for him not to be in your starting lineup pretty much every week his worst game was three points but he's had a lot of double digit kicking fantasy games and the fifth and final guy I'm going to start a kicker is Zane Gonzalez of the Arizona Cardinals Gonzalez has a great matchup versus Seattle this week where it's going to be another shootout type of game Seattle gives up a lot of points Gonzalez he's going to get his chances to kick he's a little shaky from 50 yards or whatever but Gonzalez, he could get the job done. His worst game of the year, I think, seven points, and that's pretty solid from a kicker. But this week, I could see Gonzalez getting 10 to 12 because it's going to be a high-scoring game. And Arizona, they're going to have to keep putting points on the board, and they're not always going to come out with a touchdown because Seattle's that defense that bends but don't always breaks. So that's five kickers I'm putting in the starting lineup this week.